Welcome to AMS. Today in this video we are going to solve a question and the question is 64 is to power x plus 64 is to power x plus 8 is to power x equal to 1 and we will solve this question for this variable which is x. In order to solve this question in first step we should convert this 64 in 8 is to power square or 8 is square overall power x because this 64 will be equal to x square so here we we can write this 64 as 8 square and overall power x will remain same in the same way this 64 can be written as 8 square and overall power x will remain same plus 8 is to power x equal to 1 will remain same now this 8 square is to power x uh, overall power x you can see that both power will uh, are in multiplication so here we we can replace both power together with each other as a result we will get 8 is to power x overall square because when we replace this x from this square we will get 8 is to power x overall square in the same way both values are in multiplication so both values can be replaced from each other and as a result we will get 8 is to power x overall square and on the on the other side of the equation or the remaining side of the equation will remain same now this 8 is to power x square plus this 8 is to power x square will add up together and we will get 2 into 8 is to power x overall square because 1 and 1 will be equal to 2 and 8 is to power x and square will add up together and plus 8 is to power x is equal to 1 will remain same now in the next step we should consider that 8 is to power x is equal to y so we will replace this 8 is to power x and this 8 is to power x from the y as a result we will get 2y square plus y equal to 1 now we will rearrange this equation as 2y square plus y and this one will move to the other side of the equation and convert into minus 1 and equal to 0 will be the reminder on the right side of the equation now we can see that this equation is a quadratic equation and factorizable equation so when we factorize this equation we will get 2y square plus 2y minus y minus 1 equal to 0 because when we factorize this equation this factor y uh, will break up in plus 2y minus y because you can see that this minus 1 is a c of a quadratic equation and having minus sign it means that this b of a quadratic equation will break in two opposite signs so as a result we will when we break this y uh, in two opposite sign we will get 2 plus 2y minus y and you can see that when we multiply both of these value 2y into minus y we will get the if we will get the product which will be equal to the product of both of these value which is 2y square into minus 1 and when we add up both of these values we will get plus y it means that we factorize this equation in a correct way now in the next step we should take common 2y from both of these values and as a result we will get 2y as a common value and y plus 1 as a reminder in the same way we will take common minus 1 from both of these values and as a result y plus 1 will be the reminder in the next step we should take common y plus 1 in the whole expression or in this whole expression and as a result we will get 2y minus 1 as a reminder and equal to 0 will be the reminder on the right side of the equation now in the next step we should take 2y minus 1 equal to 0 and y plus 1 equal to 0 now this y or we will solve this equation for the y and we will get the value for the y is y equal to 1 over 2 how simply this one will move minus 1 will move to the other side of the equation and convert into the positive side and this 2 will go to the other side of the equation and it will divide to this 1 as a result we will get y equal to 1 over 2 now as we know that this y is equal to 8 is to power x and we know that this x 8 can be written as 2 is to power 3 and we will get uh, the whole value as 2 is 
to power three x and this one over two can be written as two is to power minus one because when this two will move from numerator to denominator to numerator its sign will convert from positive to negative one and from the basic rule of algebra if two values are equal in magnitude then their power are also equal so here we apply the same rule and we will get three is to power x equal to one now we will solve this expression for x and for this purpose we should move this 3 to the other side of the equation and we will get x is equal to 1 over 3 which is the our first answer for this expression now we will solve next equation which is y plus 1 and when this 1 will move to the other side of the equation it will convert from positive 1 to negative 1 and as we know that this y is equal to 8 is to power x and equal to minus 1 and this value is not an acceptable condition for this expression so the answer on or the only answer for this expression is a x is to x is equal to 1 over 3 i hope this video will be very useful to all of you if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you